Right, so you can see here, I've started to add a lot more work in this area with ultramarine and wide. And I'm using a dry brush technique now, um, which I'll show you in a minute. And up here, the foliage here, I've used um, Alizé Crimson and blue, ultramarine blue and white. And that's lighting that up a bit more. And I've put more work into the reflection, again, dry brush technique. Um, over all the the drips, um, it's sort of bringing it together now. The shape of the bridge reflection, the water, but I've still got to lighten that quite a bit more. So I'm just going to start on this foliage here, um, lightening that up. I've got a mixture of yellow, alizé, crimson, and um, a tiny bit of ult ultramarine and, and white. So I'll just show you. This is a, I'm using a round um, number two brush, and what I have been doing as well is I've been actually tipping the painting upside down because it gives you a different perspective. So I'm going to start here. And it's just bringing out this sort of brush here a bit more really. when I say dry brush it's it's a small um, you add a small amount of water to the paint and because of the sand it actually um, makes quite a sort of nice rough um, effect and you just sort of I'm going to probably add another after I've done this another layer of um, a lighter, another lighter layer as well, so just keep lightening the layers. Again, referring to the, the photo. But it's not, you're not adding blobs of colour, it's just sort of quite feathery effect. Okay, so carry on with that and then using again like I said dry brush technique in the water as well lightening that up more and probably put a bit more detail in the bridge as well 